Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 10 of the Leco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. What the... What is going on here? Can I just, like, give me my old one? What? Uh, I forgot what I was saying. What the... What is... Okay, what, what are you doing? This is... This is the same but worse, maybe. Alright, anyway. Um, alright, alright. I mean, I guess... I don't know. That's where all our premium dollars are going to, I guess. Anyway, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's plan. Uh Now the font is a little bit bigger. Like, th th does this have to be so big? Can we make this smaller? Like, we don't. We only need to look at the title once. I think. Like, it doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be that. Ooh. It doesn't have to, you know, be a centerpiece. The farm is more interesting. Anyway, today's farm is 2385 amount of time for binary tree to be infected. All right, so you're given a root of a binary tree with unique values. Uh, wow, all these like random things. I don't know. Is there a way to disable this? I don't even. What is this? Default. Is this okay? Fine. I guess that was default. But I don't need this to be that big. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, you're given a root. Sorry, friends. I'm. This is new to me, and I just kind of you know ran into it. Uh, Hope this is enjoyable for you too. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, anyway, so let's see. You're given a root of a binary tree of unique values and an integer start. At minute zero, an infection starts of the node and while you start each minute, a node becomes infected if it is not affected and is next to one. We turn the number of minutes. So this is just the longest path starting from a given node, right? Um, the, the thing that is tricky about this part seems to be that uh, you can go up the tree, of course. So you're not really, it's not a generic graph. Um, you have to do some pre-processing. I think there are a couple of ways you can do it. Um, in Python, there, there are some like Pythony uh, things that you can do. Pythonic, Pythony? Pythonic things that you can do it um, because you know, it's a dynamic language and, you know, where, but, but you can also certainly, um, you can certainly, you know, do it in a, any languages. It's not that hard. The first thing I would do is just connecting a node with the parents. So you have to do two or three things, maybe at the same time, you have to connect each node with the parents so that now you have a, a, a what you might call it, bi-directional graph uh, or bi-directional edges. And then the other thing is to locate the store node. The nodes are unique, so that should be, you know, findable, foundable. Find, oh man, my English is really bad today. And then after that, it's just a regular breath first search or even death first search, I guess, actually. So, uh, so yeah. In fact, I, I will do a death first search. I, I, it feels natural to do a breath first search because with a breath first search, it actually uh, generalizes with any number of nodes. Oh, sorry, not, well, with any um, a more general graph, so my mind always just like all right, well, but but of course this being a tree that means there's only one unique path, uh, at least not um, one unique symbol path from each node to any other node. So that first search would also be good. So yeah, so that's kind of uh, let's have a connect connect parent uh, 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 function. So we have a node, we have a parent, right? So, do, 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 and then maybe, and that's what I mean by Python magic is that you could do something like this. And yeah, and then now, um, yeah, connect parent, node.left, node, connect parent, node.right, node, and that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, oh, well, I mean, you have to check that it is not none, but yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah. And maybe I uh, okay. I'll, I'll put it in a separate thing, but but really, it doesn't you know to find the start note. But um, but you could obviously put in the same thing, so it doesn't really matter, right? So let's just run it real quick. Uh, root none, and then find node is if node is. Notice none. We return, and maybe I'm just a little bit local, uh, lazy. So I'm going to do found, found node in a non-local thing. If node dot value is equal to start, then we want update found to equal to node 
Um, yeah. And then otherwise, we find node of node.left, node.right. So two, buffer, uh, two depth search so far. And then now we can find the other thing, right? So then maybe we have farthest is equal to zero or maybe one. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Right? And then now uh, find farthest, we have a node. Um, and I want to say we have a parent, but it's just like maybe a previous is kind of, usually it is a, because you're always searching for, from the, the um, from the root. So it usually is the parent, but previous maybe in this case is a little bit clearer so that we can uh, just basically not go back up the tree and that's fine. Um, now that we have a rerouted node and yeah, find farthest of uh, found and, and and the previous is going to be none. We want to also assert that uh, found is, is not none so that we do find a node uh, after we want to find node of root. Let's move this up. And yeah, and as you can see, you can do this in a lot of places. So yeah. Uh, oh, and maybe I'll add a depth actually. That's what I meant to do. It's not a big deal. I mean, at least, eh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and then now it's just find farthest um, node dot left node right uh, depth plus one kind of or maybe you can even do a loop right so for uh, next node in node dot left node dot right node dot parent right and as long as if next node is not equal to previous and this is a reference equal or uh, yeah, uh, just in, uh, yeah. But yeah, next, next node, do, 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 right? Um, yeah, maybe and and also like next node is not none, right? Um, and then here, uh, maybe if depth is greater than furthest, then we can just I guess we have to non local it over it anyway. So this this part you uh, okay fine May, maybe this part we can just return a value right so then now um, yeah uh, farthest is equal to one hmm. farthest is equal to max farthest da -da 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 -da, plus one and then we return farthest right and then now we can just return this. I think it's either that or this is off by one, but uh, ooh, yeah, this is off by one, which is fine. I, I always forget what the base case should be. Depending on whether we start on zero or one, I suppose. This is like way too big to, but uh, yeah. And also like the submit button should be down here. Like I feel like changing where it is is a little bit weird. Is there a way to change this? All right, well, uh, but yeah, 1380 day streak. Uh, sorry that this layout is uh, crazy confusing right now. Uh, I think I'm going to try to change it back if I can. But, um, but yeah, this is going to be linear time, linear space, or O of H space, N plus H, or something like this, because we have basically three depth of search. We have one depth of search, two depth of search, and three depth of search. Um, except for H isn't quite height of the tree. It's, mm, I mean, it's kind of its height of the tree, but it's not the, um, the input height, I suppose, if you want to be more precise about it. It's the um, it's the height of like <laughs> the search node or so. So maybe like in the worst case, it'll be the, the length of the diameter of the tree, I guess is what I mean to say. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. That's all I have. Uh, yeah, have a great week, everybody. That's all I have. Stay good, stay healthy, the good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.